That much I'm willing to accept. The real problem is the fact that the Aegis has awakened. Now, this is no time to be squabbling over territory. If we misread the situation even a little, right. Uh, Zeke. You can't just ask someone... Anyway, they're the same person. I've never really thought of them separately. Are you serious? But they're like totally different. My lord, Genbu has begun surfacing. I am aware. It's Pandoria. Then the prince? Yes. We have received reports that. GG. Apparently, um, I probably missed it again. But apparently, today so and yesterday, it, is. it seems our uh, we were able to see the northern to lights. I couldn't see any of it though. That's awesome news. To be honest, I was really hoping there was some way you could stick around. I was just thinking of asking you myself. Saved you the trouble, did I? That you did. Thanks a bunch, Morag. No shaky hands. I just keep smiling over there. Yeah. I can't help but feel that in all the confusion surrounding Banner, our concerns have been neatly swept aside. Victoria maintains absolute control over blade distribution. It is quite vexing. Awakening rates from natural cores are very low, which limits the pool of compatible drivers. So to create large numbers of drivers, the cleansing Indol provides is a necessity. That much I'm willing to accept. The real <coughs> problem is the fact that the Aegis has awakened. Now, this is no time to be squabbling over territory. If we misread the situation even a little, Uriah itself could be sunk to the Cloud Sea's bed. Emperor Nile must surely be thinking the same thing. That's why he sent his precious Morag to shepherd them along. <coughs> and now we find ourselves in their debt. Who could have predicted such an act of selflessness? Was it just the passion of youth? Or was it... M my liege? In any case... For now, we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. Hmm. I hardly expect Tantal will comply with the Praetor's plan so easily, either. How goes, um, Judgment? Are you on today, or...? Tomorrow? I know I said press Y, I thought I meant like on the field and not in the menu. No, about 99 of them. Oh, I can't wait! Damn, I missed that one. I, I came used to A and B, but still can't get used to Y and X. I love the smell of salvage! If they seek a fight, they shall get one. Britain, I go! Yes! Yeah. Gemini, you really will get out of this fight. Armor fails! Ha! Slay one! Yeah! Slay! Anchor shot! Break his and retrieve it. Just give me the head. Take it. Eagle Lord! Quick and hot! Red Dragon Tiger! Spinning engines! Go for it! Ray of punishment! Magnificent. Uh, 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 uh,
Threw me over there. Oh come on, that's we were scary. careless before. Next time, don't get distracted. Oh no, my treasure is gone. Fuck's sake. We got time to over there. Hunting. Huh. Huh. I, did, I did press Y, what the hell? Okay, I guess every point has a fixed oh, um button they press. Come up with a load of guff again. Most of that. Steam explosion break. Good to have you here. I got didn't fall over this time. Treasure acquired. Let's go. Chum, which one do you fancy? Pyra or Mithra? <laughs> uh, Zeke. You can't just ask someone... Anyway, they're the same person. I've never really thought of them separately. Are you serious? But they're like, totally different characters. Like, Mithra is jolly intense. And Pyra is just totally mellow or, I don't know, what's the opposite of pushing? On the outside, maybe. What was that? Was that notification or that? Got a lot of backbone too. She can be pretty uh, stubborn. You seem fucking to be OBS stubborn. shit again. Well, I suppose you are their driver. Hey. Yeah. You're a prince from Tantal, aren't you, Zeke? Why, Why does OBS comply I mean, to like awesome. not? Give me a bit, right? Uh, Hold on. His old man kicked him out. Oi! No, bad blade, bad. How long have you been standing there? From about. Which one do you fancy? Which one do you? Fa That's the whole conversation. As I was saying, my prince got disowned by his father. He spent all his time traveling the world for fun instead of attending to his studies. Then bye. It wasn't for fun. I was learning all about. Uh, Society and international relations. <laughs> international relations, that what you call it? Oi, can it you? What are you doing anyway? Dissing your own driver. 
You guys crack me up. I love him, really. Oh. Anyway, he sounds tough. Zeke's dad, I mean. Tantal is an isolationist society. Crossing its borders without leave is strictly forbidden. It's been that way for ages now. Oh. Hmm. But you've seen how my prince here is. Couldn't stop himself leaving a few times. So he got chewed out and disowned. Back when he was... 15 or something? Yeah, something like that. Then the Praetor himself found him half dead on the ground one day and took him in. He made up that special envoy stuff. And that's... how you ended up in Indon. It all makes sense now. Oh, but wait. Is it safe for you to go back to Tantar then? This time we've got official business from the Praetorium. It'll be fine. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Besides, yeah? Tantal is too ignorant of the outside world. It needs a wake up call. Sire, we have reached the designated coordinates. Please. Right. Ready? You betcha. Jump. Huh? Shut up and sit down, chum. This'll be great. begun surfacing. I am aware. It's Pandoria. Then the prince? Yes. We have received reports that he made contact with the Aegis in Indol. So after 500 years, he makes his move. Praetor Amalthus. My lord? We must act to protect our days of peace, even if they are a dream that cannot last. Oh, is like a huge, um, herd beast? Oh, no, it's not. No, but all the rest, all Saying that though, it's a huge titan. Whoa! It's just like a bigger version of Tutus. It's called Genbu. It's the same, like, titan type as Uriah. Normally it's submerged in the cloud sea. Even in early fall, it can get pretty cold inside Tantal. Mind you, don't freeze! <sighs> I really can't stand the cold. I can provide my own warmth. You can stay close to me if you like. Me as well. Mm -hmm. You guys are pretty handy to have around. Well, it is our trademark, right? Essentially. Aren't you gonna be cold like that, Shalad? I'm used to it. I'll be dandy. <laughs> He's naturally dense. It's good insulation. <laughs> oh, oh, makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs> Stop encouraging her, gang of bullies. That's a funny way of calling someone tick. Kingdom of Tanto.
but I mean your enemies here for me to fight too. I don't see any, um... Oh, never mind, it's all over here. Maybe new stuff. What have we here? In my experience, I know quite a bit. Nice. The good guy from Dulce is tagging up. You're just so warm. I can't help it. It's a function of what's known as infrared radiation. Gramps knows everything. I'm not your personal heater, you know? M my lady. If you desire warmth, why not take some from me? Miss Pyra seems to be in some distress. No way. Your fur is all stiff and spiky with a cold. It'd be murder on my sensitive skin. But... My lady... <laughs> hey, is it just me? Or are the ether lines really dim? What is meaning of ether lines? You know, those things. The glowing threads that run inside a titan. That is the glow of pure ether coursing through the Titan's body. You can compare it to the bloodstream of a human. You've got good eyes. Genbu has pretty bad circulation compared to other Titans. They say it's why we have a cold climate and awful crops. So it's... cold-blooded? Call it what you like. 